Dana here from the Discovery Centre and from Virtual Curious Kids. So I'm here with my Curious Kids, Emily and Clementine, and Clementine has been asking for probably a few weeks now to make bath bombs, so I decided today was the day. So bath bombs are a great science experiment because they explore acids, bases and chemical reactions. So these are the ingredients you'll need, but don't worry, there will be a recipe below in the comments. So first of all, you need to mix all the dry ingredients together in one bowl. Half a cup each of Epsom salts, corn flour and citric acid, one cup of bicarb soda and dry food colouring if you have it. And the wet ingredients together in the other bowl. Two and a half tablespoons of melted coconut oil, three quarters of a tablespoon of water and essential oil if you like. So Clem, I'm gonna get you to mix together the wet ingredients. Do you think you can do that? And Emily, you can mix together the dry ingredients, okay? Sure. All right, now we've mixed up our ingredients. Do you think you've mixed them well? Yeah. Yep, yeah, ready to go? What do you think, Clem? Ready to go? Yep, yeah. all right, let's have a look at them. Now it's time to mix the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, just a little bit at a time. All right, so now they're mixed together. We did it really slowly so the chemicals didn't react to each other and our mixture looks kind of like wet sand. So now we're going to pack them really tightly into the moulds and let them dry. Okay, so we've put all our mixture into our moulds, we've packed them really tightly, and now what do we need to do, Emily? Now to wait. The waiting game. Okay, we're back. It was a long and at times difficult wait, but it's been about 48 hours. They're well and truly dry. So we've popped them out of the molds and now we're gonna give them a go. I wonder, what do you think will happen? Um, they're gonna fit. They're gonna fit? All right, put them in. So why does the bath bomb bubble and fizz when we put it in water? Well, the baking soda is a base and the citric acid is an acid and when they're mixed and put in water, they undergo a chemical reaction. The corn flour acts as a filler to slow the reaction, which makes it last longer. The reaction produces a lot of bubbles, which you see as the bath bomb dissolves in the water. These bubbles are made out of carbon dioxide gas. So I wonder what would happen if we put it in cooler water or hotter water? Maybe that's something you can try at home. All right, that's it for us today. So if you make some bath bombs, we'd love to see them. So make sure you let us know in the comments how yours turned out. All right, 